In one of my earlier videos, we saw about Quent 2.5 general purpose LLM. In my other video, we saw about Quent 2.5 math model. This video is all about Quent 2.5 coder, which is a specialist model in the coding task. They've given this tagline Quent 2.5 coder, and they've given this tagline code more. For code more, they're saying that Quent 2.5 coder builds on a strong Quent 2.5 and continues training on a large scale of code data, including source code, text code, grounding data, and synthetic data totaling 5.5 trillion tokens. There's quite a lot of token and they've trained with a lot more data and so they think that it can generate much more code. Why learn more? They're saying that while enhancing coding capabilities, they aim to retain the strength in mathematics and general capabilities from the base model. So Quent 2.5 Coder incorporates additional data on mathematics and general abilities, providing a comprehensive foundation for real world applications like Code Agent. They are trying to make it more like an all-rounded agent, coding agent, rather than just a code generation model. So what it means is that it can not only generate code or it can repair code, but it can also deal with mathematics and it has much more reasoning capabilities compared to other coding models. Similar to the other models, they've also given this GitHub link and they've also given the link to the different variations of the uh, model that they're releasing. And they've also given the link to the demo page and they've given the link to the hugging face model page where they've got all the uh, different models that's listed here right from coda 1.5 billion to all the way the 7 billion instruction tuned model and even the uh, the int 8 quantized model so whatever the page that we come across on the web about quen 2.5 coda we will find this plot they've basically compared the quen 2.5 coda 7 billion instruction tuned parameter model which is shown in purple here to the other market leading coding models like DeepSeek and then CodeStrel. They've shown clearly that Quen 2.5 beats the other two models in every single benchmark. So the only place where it lags behind is this big code bench where the CodeStrel 22 billion parameter model seems to be doing better than that of the uh, Quen 2.5 Coda 7 billion instruction tune model. Earlier this year in April, they introduced CodeQuen 1.5 and they're now announcing the release of the next generation open source model, which is Quen 2.5 Coda. And they have now renamed Code Quen to Quen Coda. So probably in the coming years or in the coming months, the Quen model will carry this name, for example, Quen 3 Coda, Quen 4 Coda, etc, etc. And in this series of models, they have released the sizes, which is 1.5 billion, 7 billion and 32 billion versions. And in fact, the 32 billion is coming soon. If you want to try it out. So the 7 billion parameter model will be the sweet spot to kind of trade off between the speed and performance. So their main aim of this model is twofold. Basically, they are scaling up the code training data and they are enhancing the coding capabilities while maintaining strong performance in other core areas like max and general task. So if we look at the base model, Quen 2.5 Coda supports 128,000 tokens and it covers 92 programming languages. And it seems to have achieved remarkable improvement when it comes to evaluation tasks like code generation, multi-programming code generation, code completion and code repair. And particularly the 7 billion version seems to have outperformed the deep sea coder and the code style as we saw in the figure that shows clearly that the performance of this model now beats the deep seek and code style in almost all of the uh, benchmarks that they have compared against but as an additional advantage it can demonstrate competitive math capabilities in evaluations such as gsm 8k and math i believe this is the same data that they showed here in this plot but in a tabular format as we can see in the big code bench, still the Quen 2.5 coda lags behind, but that's the only place where it lags behind the other compared versions. But what we have to note here is that this is just a 7 billion parameter model, but the, the DS coda, for example, is 33 billion. And even the uh, star coda is like uh, in a 7 billion or 15 billion, but their performance is way less than that what is achieved by Quen 2.5 coda. So let's move on to the model architecture. 
they clearly stated in their technical report that quen 2.5 coda is the same as the quen 2.5 so the difference between the coda model and the base model is literally nothing but then they have given the difference between the 1.5 billion parameter model versus the 7 billion parameter model so they're saying that the hidden size is just 1536 in 1 1.5 billion but it's been increased to 3584 in the 7 billion but the number of layers or the depth as we can see is still 28 in both the cases and there's no change in the depth of the network but then what does change is the query heads for example there are 12 query heads in 1.5 billion but there are 28 query heads in 7 billion there is also change in the intermediate size which is 8960 when it comes to 1.5 and it's 18944 when it comes to 7 billion parameter model we can see clearly like where the additional parameters are coming from and where the performance gains comes from basically moving on they've also talked about how they train the model first is the pre-training data so they first gather the data in order to train this uh, new 2.5 model and the data set comprises of five key data types namely source code data text code grounding data synthetic data and math data and there's also text data so basically they have balance between code and some synthetic data and some mathematical data and they've also got text data so that's how they make it a all-rounded coding model which is also able to reason about some mathematical tasks so let's see how they compose this data set so they're telling that they collected public repositories from github and they have sourced 92 programming languages and they've applied a series of rule-based filtering methods in order to arrive at the raw code they also collected data from pull requests comets and jupyter notebooks and also some kaggle data sets that's interesting and all of them were subject to rule-based cleaning techniques and after that for the text code grounding data they curated a large-scale high-quality text code mixed data set from common crawl they've also developed a course to find hierarchical filtering approach for the raw data so this seems to have two advantages one is that it enables precise control over each filter's responsibility and it's also naturally assigns quality scores to the data set they've also developed a cleaning pipeline after that for text code grounding data they've also applied this process iteratively and as shown in figure one which is this as the different stages progress it can we can see that there's improvement in performance when it comes to the uh, synthetic data they've clearly said that they put to use the code gen 1.5 because they already had a previous version of a um, code generation model they put to use or they made the most out of that model and they generated large-scale synthetic data from that model and in order to mitigate the hallucination they introduce an executor for validation and only the uh, executable code was retained so if the code generated was not executable or if it had some box then it was clearly eliminated by the executable or the executor or validator and for the math data they integrated the pre-training corpus from Quen 2.5 model. When we looked at the math model, we saw how they came up with this uh, math data set. So they put to use that corpus and they mixed that corpus along with the uh, code generated with this code Quen 1.5 and they created a mixed model basically. And the way that they mix the data is quite interesting. Uh, before we looked into that, let's also look at the text data. So similar to the math data, they included high quality natural language data from the pre-training corpus of Quen 2.5 model. So basically either the general purpose model or the previous version of the model, which is 1.5 comes to rescue in order to develop this super performant 2.5 coder model. Having said that, now how do we actually mix the different models? So we have this uh, code data, we have the math data and we have the text data but in what ratio or in what proportion should we mix in order to make the most out of the data available so they tried out three ratios 100 0 0 100 percent coding and zero math and zero text and 85 10 5 and 70 20 10 and 
Surprisingly, they say that the final mixture of 70% code, 20% text and 10% math is the best choice in order to get the overall uh, best performance model. As we can see, the average score is 55 when we use the token ratio of 70, 20, 10. But when we use the ratio of 100, 0, 0, obviously the performance on coding is super cool but the performance on math is very low and the performance on the general purpose evaluations is also not quite good and this one again is not the best choice which is 85 15 10 so in that case the performance across the board decreases but 70 20 10 seems to be the real sweet spot in order to arrive at this uh, data set or training but how do they go about training this the first step is to start with the quen 2.5 and they do a file level pre-training so once they arrive at the file level pre-trained model the second step is to do a repository level pre-training and then finally they do a code supervised fine tuning in order to arrive at the Quen 2.5 code instruct. So for the file level pre-training, what they do is they learn from individual code files. Basically you set a small token size, which is 8192 in this case, covering 5.2 trillion high quality data and the objective is to predict the next token and fill in the middle and they train specifically train with just the files rather than the entire repositories now in the next step of pre-training they do a repository level pre-training where you have different files for example you have the you know file one path the file one content and then you have the separator and then you have the file two content file two path and it goes on and on and on so that's how you do the repository level fill in the middle format and for this obviously they have to increase the token size from 8192 to 32,768 tokens and after this training they do a post training which is the instruction fine tuning so building on top of the Quen 2.5 Coda, they fine tuned it with the instruction data that they just created and they arrive at the 2.5 Coda instruct and they're saying that the instruction tune model not only improves the task performance but also demonstrate exceptional generalization across various benchmarks and obviously they compare with the uh, DeepSeq and also with the CodeStrel and we can see that now Quen 2.5 Coda is the winner in almost all of the tasks except for big code bench where the uh, deep seek is the leader and also in ADA in which the uh, deep seek is still the uh, leader they also mentioned that the instruction tuned quen 2.5 coder excels in several key areas and one of them is the outstanding multi-programming expert it's able to code in a lot of languages to be specific it can do more than 40 programming languages and the results show that when 2.5 coder instruct performs remarkably well across many languages including niche ones they have shown this plot where you know you've got all this kind of uh, unique languages like you know haskell and you can see that the uh, performance of the uh, Quen 2.5 Coda 7.8 chat seems to be leading in almost all of them as far as I can spot and it clearly dethrones the uh, DS Coda 6.7 billion instruction tune model and the uh, CodeStrel 20 billion model. Code reasoning is also one of the uh, areas where it actually excels. Code reasoning, they believe that code reasoning is closely tied to the general reasoning skills. You know, we saw how they mix the math and the text data along with the code in order to arrive at a mixed data set so i would attribute that kind of mixing in order to arrive at a code reasoning capability of this model they've given this plot where they show that the best performance to size ratio is now quen 2.5 coda which is just 7 billion parameters compared to you know ds coda or code stall or whatever which are like very high uh, parameters quen 2.5 coda 7 billion instruct is not only less parameters also got a good chain of thought reasoning performance and when it comes to math reasoning math and code are often discussed together math is the foundation of code and code is key for math we can definitely relate to that Quen 2.5 code or instruct shines in both code and math task proven to be a science student so we can see that except for gsm 8k where uh, the deep seek 
coda still seems to be doing better the quant 2.5 coda 7 billion in stack seems to be doing good at math and the math olympiad bench data set and also the college math and also the ai me 24 and they've also clearly assessed how well it does against quant 2.5 it seems to be maintaining the advantages of quant 2.5 in terms of general abilities they're saying this because they've compared the uh, quant 2.5 coda against the deep seek coda version 2 and we can see that in mmlu or mmlu pro or you know c eval in all of these benchmarks that now um quen 2.5 coda seems to do better to wrap things up what they're saying is they haven't yet released the 32 billion version of quen coda but they are preparing it and they're kind of releasing it soon and they're also exploring powerful code centric reasoning models to push the boundaries of code intelligence so we can't wait to find out what these code centric reasoning models are so let's wait and see what they are up to until then i'm signing off and i hope to see you in my next video take care